Hi guys, this is teacher David. I'm here to present to you Sec 1 Max, uh, Max for Linear Functions. And we're going to explore on the part on equation of a straight line as well as gradient of a straight line. And I'm going to explain and show to students how to find equation of straight line and gradient of a straight line. And I'm also going to explain what exactly is gradient. So right now, let me go right straight to this part here. Okay, your book page 152, right? They ask you on a sheet of graph paper, using a scale of 2 cm to represent one unit on x-axis and 1 cm to represent one unit on y-axis, draw the graph, okay? So I'm going to show you how to draw the graph if the, if the equation of the line is given to you. So let me go right straight to here. Draw our own graph. Mm, let me find my graph paper wow. first. Huh? Okay, graph paper is here. Okay, this is my graph paper. And this is my whiteboard, my graph paper. Okay, so let's say right now I have a question, right? Okay, the question tells you all on a sheet of graph paper. Okay, on a sheet of graph paper. Okay, let me start out with you, Gasto. On a sheet of graph paper using a scale of two CM to represent one unit on the x-axis and one cm to represent one unit on the y-axis Draw the graph. Draw the graph of the function. Okay, y equal to 3x for values. For values of x from 0 to 3. Okay. Okay, this is part one. No? Then part two, the point two A lies on the graph in part one, find the value of P, find the value of K. Okay, you know what to do? 
asking any idea what to do? Hello, you have to answer me. Any idea what to do? Um. If you're not sure, I show you what to do. I don't know. Okay. You said y is 3x, right? Yeah. So you create a table. You create a table. Okay, you create a table. So you have value for X and Y, right? Yeah. And X is between zero to three, right? Yes. X is between zero to three. Y is three X, right? Mm. Y is three X. I understand how I got three six nine. Huh? Yes. Because y is three x. When x is three, three times three nine. So y is nine. Okay. So you got this table. Okay. Then they ask you to draw the graph, right? So you follow the instruction. Yes. You draw the graph. Okay. Two cm. One unit on x axis. Okay, your graph paper oh, like that is 2 cm. Oh. You understand what I mean? Like that is 2 cm. Like that oh. is 2, 2, 2 cm. Your actual graph paper. Oh. You, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. So one box is 2 cm. Oh. So, so I have. Three unit, right? Three times two, six. Uh. Okay. So one you okay, two CM, one you need. Understand? 2 cm, mm. 1 unit. <laughs> because on your actual piece of graph paper, right? Like that is 2 cm. Mm. Correct? Yeah. So this is my x. This is my y. Okay, 1 cm, 1 unit on y, y axis. Huh? Mm. 1 cm, 1 unit. Huh? Okay, I understand all. So zero, zero, one, three. I, I understand what, what how I draw. Two, yeah. six, two, six, three, nine. I understand all. Mm. Then you draw the straight line. Okay, I just draw that line already. And always enlarge, always extend further because it's a straight line. 
Okay, I did draw a straight line. Huh? Okay, draw the graph, blah, blah. Zero to three, I did draw. Okay, the point 2K lies on the graph in part one. 2K. So this is my 2K. Okay, this is my mm. 2k. Uh. Yeah. Find the value of k. Oh, what is the value of k? Six. Six. Okay, this one you get it from the graph. Uh. Mm. Okay, so this question, no, no problem. Uh. This kind of question, no, no. problem. Uh. So graph is just like that. Oh, uh. uh, no, no, much more than that. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you equation of straight line. Uh. You, you pay attention now. Uh. Okay. Okay, y equal to 3x, right, is the equation of this straight line. Okay, y equal to 3x is the equation of this straight line. 3 here, right, is the gradient. Gradient is the level of steepness. Understand what I mean? Level of steepness. So how do you get three? Here is six, right? Here is two. So that's to this point. Huh? So difference in y divide by difference in x, six over two equal to three. Gradient is three. Oh. Gradient of any straight line. Uh, That's the only, fault, uh. only applies to straight line. Uh. Okay. Difference in y coordinates. Okay, difference in y coordinates. over difference in x coordinates. That's, that's why some book uh, you see uh, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay, some book they'll see the formula. Mm. Basically, it's a difference in a y coordinate divided by a difference in x coordinate. So this one, uh, the gradient is three. Uh, so I'm going to use this example to illustrate to you. Lah. Okay. How come it's three? Okay, I'm going to show you clearer. How come it's three? Okay, I'm going to name my coordinates. Lah. This point, right, is three nine, right? You agree this point is three nine? Yes. Then this point here is two six. Uh. Then here is one three. Yeah. Okay. Then I told you gradient is difference in y coordinates divided by difference in x coordinates, right? Mm. Okay. I will really erase here and because I need the space here to show you the working. Uh. Let me see. Um okay, I don't need this anymore. Let me erase this part. Okay, I'm going to erase this part also. Okay, so I have my coordinates here, right? Okay, mm. let's say I want to find gradient on this line, right? Uh, it's three. Yes. You know Plus it's three. Nine divided by three. You, you know it's three because <laughs> this is 3x, but but let's say the equation is not given. Let's say the equation is not given. Uh, how to find the mm -hmm. gradient? Let's say you have the coordinates, right? Difference in y. Uh, can you see? Difference in y divided by difference in x, right? If I use 9 minus my 6, uh, I must use 3 minus 2. Uh, I cannot use 2 minus 3. Uh. You know what I mean? 
No. Do you understand what I mean? Three minus two. If I use nine minus six, I must use three minus two. Oh, okay. <laughs> because oh, you also can do it this way. You also can do it this way. Difference in y over difference in x. Oh. You still end up with three. Yeah. So the sequence or which one minus which one doesn't matter. So long uh, the top and bottom are uh, same sequence. Yeah. Because the formula is y1 minus y2. Like x and y, right? x1 minus x2. Do you notice? Yeah. Then they never tell you which one is your x1 and y1. That means uh, your x1, y1 can be any of it. You understand what I mean? Mm. Okay, important. Uh. This is how you find gradient of a straight line. Uh. If, if coordinates are given, this is how you find gradient of a straight line. Okay. Clear uh, this part? Yeah. And gradient of a straight line uh, is also the coefficient of x in the equation. Okay, because equation is always y equal to mx plus c. Mm. m is the gradient plus c, right, is the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept is 0. So it's 3x plus 0. 3x plus 0 is still 3x. So they never put show the plus 0. Let's say this line, right, let's say this line all for the change up, become here. Equation on this line all will then become uh, equation of this line will then become right y equal to 3x plus 4. Okay, because the y in the set is 4. Understand? Mm -hmm. The gradient is still 3x. Right? Yeah. The gradient is still the same, same level of steepness. Like, let's say the original line is this one. These two lines are parallel, by the way. Mm. Parallel means same, same gradient. Okay, because the level of steepness is the same. Parallel, when two lines are parallel, that means their gradient is the same. I, I understand oh, the concept. Yeah. Okay, ah? mm. so y equal mx plus c, I cover already. Ah? Okay. Mm. If you're ready, or I'm going to go through a few more example. Okay. Let Let's say. Right now, back to this whiteboard. So let Let's say um I have a question here, right? That tell you the equation of the straight line. Okay, they give you gradient, the equation you are able to tell from the equation, right? The gradient and the y intercept. Okay, a line has gradient, has gradient minus two and y intercept. Four, it states this equation. So you have A and B are A, B, I think there are two questions here. 
Okay, you ready? You know how to do this question? Or you're not sure? You think you know how to do? After I explain a bit just now, you, you think you know how to do? Hello, you need to talk to me, eh? Mm. You think you know how I'll to try. do? Or you still don't know? I can go through. I can go through one more time. Okay, you see, uh, y equal to mx plus c, right? They give you equation, right? Okay, since equation of the Okay, equation of straight line is y equal to 3x minus 2, right? Then equation of straight line always follow uh, y equal to mx plus c. Okay, equation of straight line always follow, right? Okay, y equal to mx plus c. Where m is the gradient. And C is the Y the set. Oh, understand all? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, Y M is the gradient, C is the Y the set. And C gradient is two, right? The negative. You you are, you get the concept first. Okay. You get the concept first. Okay. C is the y intercept. Y intercept means right where it cuts the y axis. Let's say I have a line on. This is my C. This is my M. Because this divided by this is your gradient. Okay. Here must be M. Or here is 1. Because this divided by this is M. Or. So gradient is, is M. Okay. Y equal MX plus C. So C in this case all is minus 2. Okay, so gradient, right? Gradient will be three. Y intercept minus two. Understand? You understand? How oh, I get this? Yes, yes no. The gradient is a coefficient of x. Y intercept. Hmm? Y intercept. Yeah. That means if I to draw this line, right? It looks like that. Huh? Then gradient is 3x, right? Gradient is 3x. Huh? So here would be, uh, let me see. Huh? At this point, y is 0, 2 third. Huh? Here is two third. X is two third. Uh. I mean, y is zero. Wait. Yeah. Then if it's one, no? when it's one, right? X is one, right? Three minus two is also one. Right? When x is 1, 
three minus two, y is also one. Okay, this is how the line, will, the graph will look like when you plot. Okay. Okay, part B, oh. Okay, a line has gradient minus two and y does set for y equal mx plus c. Gradient is minus two, right? Y intercept four. So equation will be Understand? Yes. Okay. <coughs> this one's straightforward, huh? Yeah. Okay, just now I did taught you how to find gradient, right? Correct. Just now I did taught you how to find gradient, right? Yes. I'm going to teach you all the ways to find gradient now. Your textbook will tell you rise over run. Okay, your textbook will tell you rise over run. Okay, let's say this coordinate here, let's call it x1, y1. This coordinate, let's call it x2, y2. So this one is y1 minus y2. Here will be x1 minus x2. So gradient will then be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, which is what I mentioned earlier. So in summary, right, gradient is also called rise divided by run. Okay, rise over run means all, how much it rise divided by how much it run. <laughs> this is what I mean. Some textbook call it vertical change over horizontal change. It means the same thing. Uh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, that's another way to find gradient. Uh. Let's say this angle alpha is given, right? Okay, you haven't learned trigonometry. Nope. But it's good to learn trigonometry now. Although you're in sec one. Sounds so chim. Trigonometry is a sec two topic. But I rather tell you now. <laughs> yeah, I rather tell you now. I rather tell you now than later, to be frank. So this 90 degree, uh, this A, B, C. Okay, if you have a right angle triangle, right? If you have a right angle triangle, right? And this angle is called alpha. Sine alpha right, is basically right, opposite side. This is called the opposite side. Opposite side of this. Opposite divided by hypotenuse. The longest side of a right angle triangle is always known as hypotenuse. Okay, opposite over hypotenuse. is your sine alpha. Cosine alpha, right, is the adjacent side, B over C. Okay, or divide by hypotenuse also, but cosine alpha is the adjacent side. Tangent alpha, right, is opposite over adjacent. Okay, tangent alpha is opposite divided by adjacent. So how to remember? <coughs> Okay, 
Okay, you know how to pronounce this word? Owa kaso. Oh. <laughs> Is that a Hokkien word? Yes. <laughs> Toa kaso. Big footed lady in Hokkien. The way to remember tangent alpha is A over B, which is your opposite over adjacent, huh? is the word hua. Okay, instead of writing A, B, C, right? Let me write it in terms of adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. Huh? Sine huh, would be opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, right, would be adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent would be opposite over adjacent. Okay? Like right angle triangle, right? You know how to recognize which is the, let's say this angle, right? With regards to this angle, you know which side is the hypotenuse, which side is the opposite, which side is the adjacent, right? Example, with regards to this angle, right? This is the opposite. This is the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. Understand? Yes. Opposite means opposite. Uh. Okay. But let's say oh, I change my angle to the other side, right? Let's say this, I'm referring to this angle. Uh. My hypotenuse is still hypotenuse. Uh. Let's say regards to this angle, right? My opposite is this side already. This is my adjacent. Uh, uh, understand? Mm. So it depends on which angle you're referring to. This angle or this angle? Oh, wait. Hypotenuse is always the longer side. Uh. So with reference to this angle, right? Opposite is this side. If I refer to this angle, uh, opposite is this side. Uh. Opposite is no longer this side. Uh, understand what I mean? Yeah. So let's say if I do sine alpha, sine alpha, sine this degree uh, is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cosine alpha right, is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent alpha right, is opposite over adjacent. Because of trigonometry, right, they discover for right angle triangle, right, it's very unique. The ratio is always sort of fixed one uh, in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because this right angle, uh, <laughs> then there's only 180 degrees within a triangle. Uh. Mm. So, so if I tangent this angle, right, I'm actually finding uh, the length of this opposite side divided by adjacent. Yeah. So if the higher angle I have, right, let's say this angle is very big. Uh, My opposite will be longer, right? And adjacent shorter. Can you see? If this angle is bigger. So tension <coughs> opposite over adjacent will keep changing more because this is longer side. When this angle change out, your opposite, the length of this opposite side also change more. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? Because opposite is longer. Yeah. Then if this angle mm. get longer, get bigger, right? Can you, can you imagine uh, this angle right now is like that? This angle so big now. The opposite gets so long. Then adjacent gets so short. Can you see? Yeah. So opposite divide by a smaller, then your tangent alpha will get bigger and bigger. And do you notice uh, your opposite side over your adjacent side? Uh, it's also how you find the gradient of this line. Do you notice? Yeah. So gradient of this straight line, right, is also tangent alpha. Okay, gradient of this straight line is also tangent alpha. You learn this in set three, but I let you know in advance. Okay. Can I go to the toilet? Okay. Come back quickly.
Okay, you're finally back. <laughs> I paused the recording just now. Uh. Well, um. I don't know how long you're away. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. Uh. So you understand how to find gradient? Uh? Tangent alpha is not in your syllabus yet, uh, but no harm knowing. Uh. Okay, no harm Where knowing. A over B. Mm, a over B is your tangent alpha. Uh. Okay, tangent alpha is also gradient now uh, because tangent alpha is A over B. Ma. Because mm -hmm. A over B is the way you find gradient one. Right? That's why tangent alpha is also your gradient. Okay, uh? mm -hmm. so let, let's say right now uh, I have a question like this. Uh. Okay, let, let's say right now I have this question here. I'm asking you to find gradient of the following lines. Huh? Okay, then the gradient, let's say, is like that. Okay. Then this is zero, this is one. I give a coordinate. Okay. Okay, let's say I have this straight line. Right? I like you to find gradient of this straight line. What must you do? How how to go about doing this question? You know what to do? See when means. I ask you to find gradient of this straight line. You know how to do. Or you don't know. You know how to find gradient of this straight line? Yes or no? No. Huh? Still don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you how to find. Huh? Okay. Okay, just like I mentioned to you, Gradient of the straight line, how to find? Is difference in Y correct? Difference in Y coordinates. You 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 are you remember? That was what I told you, right? Yes or no? You please give me res respond. Difference in y coordinates divide by difference in x coordinates, right? Yes. Correct. That was what I told you, right? So the difference in y coordinates. Let let's say you choose any point. Uh, let, let's say I choose this point. I choose this point. Huh? This coordinate is what? This coordinate is 5, 14. Correct or not? Yes. You agree it's 5, 14, right? Yes. Then anyhow, choose a point. Let's say I choose this point. This coordinate is 1, 6. Am I right? Yes. So difference in Y coordinates will be Y1 minus Y2 over x1 minus x2, right? Mm. Right now. Okay, let's say I choose this as my y1. Uh. I choose this as my x1, y1. Uh. Okay? Let's say I choose this one as my x1, y1. Uh. Mm. So my y1 is 6, right? Correct? Yes. So my y2 is 14. Uh. 
Then x1 is 1, right? Then x2 is 5. Mm. Okay, 6 minus 14 equal to how many? 6 minus negative 14. Negative 12. 6 minus 14 is negative 12. How, how you get that? Negative uh, 18. 6 minus 14 is negative 8. 6 minus 14. Oh. 1 minus 5 is minus 4. Correct? If you're not sure, press calculator. Okay, 6 minus 14, you get minus 8. So minus 8 divided by minus 4. What do you have? Um, you can change two. it to, to 8 over 4, right? Yeah. Equal to 2. Okay. Then I told you, just now you choose any one as your x1, y1, no difference, right? Okay, Let, let's say I choose 14 minus 6. Or if I let this be my y1, or y, x1, y1, or it'll be 14 minus 6, am I right? Mm. If you use 14 minus 6, or you cannot use 1 minus 5. Or it's for uh, 5 minus 1. Must be 5 minus 1. Because x1, because y1 minus y2, x1 minus x2, the, the 1 is here, 2 is here. So 14 minus 6 is 8 over 4, 2. You say get the same answer. So you, you, you choose any one as your x1, y1, no, no difference, huh? Because the negative sign, uh, if you minus correctly and if you do your division correctly, right, you'll get the same answer. Okay, you know how to find gradient now of a straight line if coordinates are given. You know how to find gradient of straight line now? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh? Okay. Now, let, let's say I want to find equation of this straight line. Okay, your gradient is 2. Uh. Let's say I want to find equation of this straight line, right? Mm. Okay, y equal to mx plus c. Correct? Then your gradient is 2. So m is 2. Uh. Yeah. but you don't know your C. Then you substitute any coordinates, any point. Let's say I choose this point, 1, 6. Because when X is 1, Y is 6. Okay, when X is 1, Y is 6, huh? and M is 2. So Y is 6. M is 2, X is 1, C is C, la, because you're supposed to find your C. So your C is equal to 6 minus 2, equal to 4. Oh, you understand why 6 minus 2, uh, your algebra? You understand uh, how I get 4? Uh? You understand uh, this part? Yes. Very important. Because I don't expect you to have algebra problem now. It's assumed knowledge by now, your algebra. Mm. Okay. 6 equal to 2 times 1 plus C, right? So the 2 times 1 is 2. 6 equal to 2 plus C. C will then be equal to 6 minus 2. 2 I bring over, 6 minus 2. C is 4. So, so since you know C is 4, right? The equation of the straight line will then be M is 2. 
plus 4. Y equal to 2X plus 4. Okay, equation on a straight line. Equation of straight line. Y equal to 2X plus 4. Okay, make, make sense to you? Or you can look at the graph. It cut the y axis at 4. So plus 4. Okay, that's another way to know your C. Understand? Yeah. Understand? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, C, C, one way to find C is through calculation. Another way to find C is looking at the graph where it cuts the y axis. It cut the y, y axis at 4, right? So C is 4. 2x is because gradient is 2. Okay, any more question? No. If no more question, right, you can do the exercises in your book now. Okay, then there's another thing I need to highlight to you. What is the gradient of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero. How about a vertical line? Zero. No. If horizontal is zero, vertical will not be zero. One. No. Okay, this kind of line or gradient is one now. Mm. Okay, this kind of line gradient is one. Because here is x. Here is also x. <laughs> Understand? Uh, yeah. Oh, here is P. Here is also P. Same distance. So gradient is 1. So vertical line, the gradient would be? Mm. You, use, you use a concept. Well, difference in Y over difference in X. Okay, difference in Y. Or let's say I pick a new point here. This is my Y. Difference in X. Uh, can see the difference in X. Well, difference in X uh, is zero <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so difference in y over difference in x y over zero anything divided by zero is zero no. oh uh itself anything Wait, one, one 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 no okay okay ask calculator anything divided by zero one divided. ask calculator you don't know ask calculator. math error max error is what Infinity. Uh, infinity. So vertical line is infinity. Yes, the gradient is infinity. Okay, now horizontal line or horizontal line, how come gradient is zero? You want to analyze or not? Okay, let's analyze. How come horizontal line gradient is zero? Okay, this is my X. Huh? Difference in Y is what? Difference in Y will be? Um, zero difference in y is zero. Oh yeah, because y is zero. No, no difference. Uh. no yeah. difference means zero. Uh. So difference in y over difference in x. So zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. Uh. Anything divided by zero uh, is not zero. Uh, it's infinity. Uh. Okay. These are your primary school concept. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> which I feel if you are at site one, you shouldn't have problem with this really. La. But a lot of students have problem with this kind of elementary, primary school stuff. That's why they have problem understanding <laughs> your secondary school stuff. La. How come gradient is zero? How come gradient is undefined? <laughs> so you all go back to your primary school stuff. La. Okay, now if you have no problem, or Okay, if you have no question, right, please go ahead and do your practice now question. Okay, you're you... still recording, by the way. Okay, yeah. I'll let you know first. <laughs>